Here's a little video on how to fix the uh, airbag code. Um, I forget what the number is, but I'll look it up in a minute. This is the uh, seatbelt retractor buckle, not to be confused with the seatbelt retractor. It's basically underneath this cover here. You just pop out the seat, four bolts, two wire harness connectors. Pretty easy to take out. I've already taken it out once before. There's a little problem here. I uh, can't get to one of the screws. So I guess uh, I need to put the seat back in real quick to connect the power so I can raise the seat cushion <laughs> so I can get to one of the screws that's right there. Didn't have that problem last time. Oh well. So what you need to do is you need to raise the seat all the way up on the front here for access. Okay, so I put the seat back in, powered up the cushion. Now I can get to this screw. So basically two screws, and this little cover comes off, I already had it off before, and voila. Now I just got to, uh, this whole harness is replaced, I've already taken this off before as well, clips off of there, and the factory service manual says, one book tells you to take the seat out, second book tells you to take the cushion off. And then the third book tells you how to take this off. <laughs> but you don't need to remove that. I've already taken, I don't think so, because I've already had this harness out before. So, um, now to take it off. Okay, here we go. Another tip. Make sure you push the seat cushion all the way up, both the front and the back. Otherwise, you won't be able to get this connector through this hole. Like I said earlier, so the factory service manual says to remove this cushion, which is probably pretty simple. I've taken apart the Altums before. There's a couple of bolts somewhere in the mix of all these motors, but it's really not needed. It does fit through there. And there's one, it's a 21 millimeter nut that holds this little uh, bomb on here. Take that off. And the whole assembly comes off and just pop on the new one okay here's the new one installed I'm sorry the new one installed <laughs> got the bolt tight and uh, the old one is off completely wiring harness it actually comes with a new nut it says in the instructions and make sure you use the new nut so I did so here's the part number, by the way. Made in Mexico. It's made by Takaka or Takata. It's actually, uh, this is for a uh, tan or sand color, is what they call it. Okay, the seat's all back in. Got the key to on. Let's see if we can uh, clear this code now. So basically, with the CRP123, I don't know if you can see this. My lights. Let's see, they go to diagnostic scan. I don't know if you can see any of that. It's um, manual airbag. If I read the fault. Oh, no diagnostic codes. So it's already cleared itself. That's weird. Oh, there it is. 1182, pre-tensioner front. Yeah, B1182, that's the one I've been fighting. Okay, that's under previous. So let me open the garage. It really is gone. What is that noise now? One of my actuators is acting up. Yeah, the airbag light's not fixed. So 
Let's see. Current. Clear diagnostic code is successful. Okay, light is off. Okay, I wasn't able to do that before. I kept saying fail because I was saying that this buckle was open. Open circuit. So, obviously, I think we're good now. No diagnostic codes. It was intermittent for a year or so. Time will tell, but we've got a new new buckle now. Okay, here's the code I've been getting um, for over a year, just every couple months, every time I clear the code for the flashing light, I get a B1182, which is the circuit for, for front left-hand seat belt pretensioner is open. So when I first read that, I thought it was the seat belt pretensioner on the left side. So I ordered one; it was only 40 bucks new. Swapped it out, but when I unplugged it and ran a test, I actually got a B1086, which says front left hand seat belt pretensioner is open. And I thought that was odd. So and I still got the 1182 as well because it's left hand seat belt buckle pretensioner, left hand seat belt pretensioner. So now I have both new. <laughs> oh well. Cost me a hundred bucks for both, so it's not bad.